Welcome back. It's Wise Guy Wednesday, and joining us as always, our favorite mad scientist, the wise guy, Matt Sellen, and you brought a little something Robert's going to like. <laughs> I love liquid nitrogen. Well, I know you really like it, and so that's why I brought it this time, because I figured <laughs> you'd have a lot of fun this way. <laughs> I appreciate that. And, and I thought I would explain what this stuff is, really. Nitrogen is... is mostly what the air is made of. And so what this is, is just liquefied air. And just to show you how cold it is, instead of just telling you, I have a thermometer right here, and I have liquid nitrogen in this little cup, and if I just dunk the thermometer in there, you see this thing will go down to about 300 below. So that's pretty cold. So that's not wow. your standard thermometer then? This is, well, it, it's just a little fancier. It, the thermometer is at the tip of this little wire, and it tells you how cold that little tip is. If I dunk it in the water over here, it'll be room temperature, like 70 degrees or something like that. You know, how do, we, how do we pull the nitrogen out of the air and cool it to the point where it becomes liquid? What do we have that makes that cold environment? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's a fancy refrigerator. So you, you compress it a little bit, then you take some heat away, you compress it, which tends to warm it, you remove some heat, you compress it some more, and you keep doing that until you have a liquid left. And maybe we'll talk about that some other day. So, oh, okay, so let's figure out, first of all, some properties of liquid nitrogen. We can compare it to water. Here I have a cup that's full of it, and I'm going to make the cup really full. There we go. And it's I'm just gonna, steaming. It's just boiling because it's very, very much colder than the temperature in this room. Then I'm going to just put this racquetball in there. <coughs> now, yeah, you have, so these little things that scoot around on the table that are drops of liquid nitrogen, they won't hurt you unless you get them stuck okay. in your pants or something. Okay, well, so I saw you wearing that big <laughs> glove. <laughs> and so you can see that the ball that's in water floats higher than the ball that's in liquid nitrogen. So what does that tell us about the density of liquid nitrogen? Do you remember? It's getting more dense? Or the, it's less, less dense. It's less, less dense, dense right. So it doesn't push up as much on the ball, so the ball goes down. So liquid nitrogen is a bit less dense than water. So that's okay. the first thing we can know. Now, interesting things happen when you get things really cold, and we're going to do a few demonstrations to show you that. That's my favorite part. <clears throat> right, so this is a normal racquetball. This has been sitting in water. Okay, that's kind of boring. This racquetball has been sitting in the liquid nitrogen, so I'm going to put this here on the table, and if you could give it a little whack with this, <laughs> and I should have brought safety goggles, but I didn't, so we'll have to kind of watch what we... Okay, give right. it a little whack. Oh, man, you don't... Little whack. Oh, man. little? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> when you whack, you don't fool around. <laughs> Man, you pulled. You pulverized it. Okay, so here you can see that this thing shattered wow. like a light bulb. And in fact, if you hit it a little less hard, it, we, we could have heard it shatter like a light bulb because it had this sort of cool pop sound when it goes. Okay. So anyways, it's very cool. And now you can... Overachieving. <laughs> That's very neat. And just wow. before the segment, I, I put something in the liquid nitrogen. These hot dogs are a lot like fingers. That's what I figure. But I don't want to dunk my fingers in liquid <laughs> yeah. nitrogen. Thank so, you. I stuck one in here. This is sort of a demonstration of what might happen to your finger. Oh, here we go. Wow. We're talking frostbite here. We're talking serious frostbite. And if you've seen wow. those Terminator movies, you see, you know, the bad guys falling apart like this and so on. So now you've seen it on the morning show. <laughs> I'm glad you're going to clean this up, Matt. <laughs> no more hammer for you. So when we come back, so we've, got, oh, we've got a bunch of other things that we're going to demonstrate, which are kind of interesting also when they get very cold. Okay, well. And then you can do that if you like. <laughs> Keep the sledgehammer over there. Looking forward to the next segment from Matt. We'll be back. Still ahead on the morning show, we're going on travel. We're going to travel. We're going on a travel vacation in today's Wish You Were Here postcard.